Hey, what's going on, graduates? So today I'm going to be showing you, well, I'm actually not, I'm not showing you a, a, a product video that we were releasing. I'm actually going to be asking you, is this something you guys would want? Um, I like to come up with really weird, different, unique features for stores that haven't really been done before. So what this is, is this is a thank you page editor within your theme editor. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, what are you talking about? How's that possible? I made the, po the, the, the impossible possible, I think. Um, it's, so far, it's working. You know, some of you may have purchased some of our code snippets on our, you know, from our, our website. And when you're on the thank you page, you might have noticed a little YouTube little widget thing, uh, which I'll show you in, in, in a moment. And I'm just, this right here, this is all the settings, you know. So right here, it says our latest videos, and it shows you, you know, zero means it's like the very f most recent video. Obviously, we'll be ch changing settings. And then you can add buttons, custom HTML to the thank you page. You can even use a liquid on the thank you page. And then what we have here is some uh, short code options. You know, we've got HTML, YouTube, buttons. So as you can see, this button button is you know, a button for the uh, subscribe link, then you have a button here. And then there's also, uh, I, I included commenting out options. And then today what I went, what I did is I went ahead and added a, oh, I'm, now I'm gonna have to change that discount code, damn it. Um, <laughs> you know, if you're watching this and you use a code, awesome. Um, but it, it's basically a way to say, you know, th you know, way to thank people on your thank you page, giving them a discount. Um, and I'm gonna show you how this works. So let me just uh, do this real quick. So here's a link for an order, and I may have to close out some of this stuff. Um, so what you can see here is, boom, you got a pop-up here that says, you've unlocked the discount code, use unlock to save 15% off on your next, uh, next order. Now I'm going to close out of that, and there's going to be all kinds of options to, you know, you know, basically show content here. Now, the way this system works is because this product is in the order, the pop-up shows. So what I did was I created a way for you to trigger a certain or different pop-ups based on what people add to their cart or, or, or what they purchased. And I know there's apps out there that do this, but you know, it works really well. So right now, this right here is basically a variant ID for a certain product. You know, so basically because they, they added this PDF, which everyone is doing, um, it looks for this this product in the order, and then if it finds it, it goes and says this. So anything that's after these this little uh, semicolon colon here, um, it'll go in and actually display that information. So as you can see, unlock unlock the discount code, use code, blah blah blah, save fifteen percent off on your next purchase. And you know we'll do this again. There you go. So you've unlocked the discount code, use code, you know. So then when you click on this, which I'm actually going to go and open this up in a private window. Just so you know, there's no uh, discount codes. There you go. So now we'll click on use code. Now I already have an item in my cart for some reason. So I'll click checkout. So if you notice, that brought us all the way to the uh, a certain collection. So I'll be adding settings like that. But if you guys are really interested in this type type of advanced functionality, I definitely, definitely, definitely am curious. You know, if this is something I should keep working on, and if this is something you guys would actually be interested in, and it should technically work with any theme. Um, I don't know. It's just really unique, and I haven't seen anybody else do this.